Hey everyone, welcome back. I am Naturalist Faith. We're here again at Pioneer Ridge Nature Center. And today we have another fun topic to talk to you about. And we're gonna talk about the owls of Iowa. So we're gonna talk a little bit more about who lives here in Iowa. But first, let's discuss characteristics of owls. So owls are primarily nocturnal hunters. They have uh, rounded heads, flat faces, and those big bulgy eyes. So we're going to talk about why those characteristics are so important for the owl. So right here we have a great horned owl, and as you can see he's got this round head, but he also has these two little feather tufts popping up on both sides. A lot of times people think those are the owl's ears, but their ears, you actually cannot see them. Um, they're a little bit below the, the feather tufts, um, and they're underneath all those feathers and their ears are asymmetrical. Um, so one is higher than the other and that is so they can triangulate sound so they can hear all the levels of the forest which makes them an even more effective hunter. So if they have these feather tufts on the top of their head and they aren't ears, what are they? Well, these are called plumicorns. So you heard of unicorn, think of plumicorns. And they're, scientists believe that they're there to actually break up the owl's silhouette to help them camouflage better in the night sky. Now, not all owls have those, but some do. Let's also talk about those big eyes. Again, I mentioned they have those really big bulgy eyes. And so their eyes are actually cone shaped where ours are more of like a globe or circular. And that's because the owls rely heavily on that vision while they're night hunting or night stalking. If humans had eyes the same size of owls, our eyes would be comparison of having softballs on our face. Can you imagine having eyes that big? They can see so much and this allows them to see an even bigger picture. Now, they have these big eyes and they're coned, but their eyes can't move. They're stuck in place, so stand still. And I want you to look up, down, and side to side without moving your head. I'm looking up, down, around, right? And I can't move my head. Well, owls, they can't move their eyeballs. So um, that's why they, turn their, they can turn their head 270 degrees to compensate for that lack of eye movement. Now let's talk about their feathers. So owls have special feathers that make them adapt for night hunting, for quiet flight. Um, so here I have a wing of a great horned owl, and it's silent as it flaps through the night. So this is just another adaptation of the owl to um, hunt in its environment. Now, how does it catch its prey? Well. They have these really sharp tools called talons. They have three facing forward toes and one toe facing in the back. And this helps them better grab their prey, but also it helps them for perching to hold on to structures um, and using less muscle than other animals to perch on a structure. Now let's talk about those nine owls who live here. So first we're gonna talk about the great horned owl. So the great horned owl is Iowa's most common and most likely this is the one you've heard or seen in the area. Uh, these guys are apex predators. They're the top of their food chain. So nothing else hunts them. Um, they eat things like skunks, um, rodents, osprey, and other small owls too. The barred owl is a mid-sized owl with haunting black eyes. They are the biggest predator item of the great horned owl, and the great horned owl will actually eat their eggs, their young, and even the adults. The next owl is the eastern screech owl. The eastern screech owl is Iowa's second smallest owl, about the size of a pint glass. Um, and these guys typically eat small, small rodents, but they also eat worms, frogs, and other little small critters that they can grab onto. And again, they're a prey item of bigger birds like the great horned owl. Next, we have the saw wet owl, which is Iowa's smallest owl. And the saw wet is about the size of a robin. Um, and they also eat small mammals like birds and bats, but again, they're another prey item for larger birds and owls. The next owl is the barn owl, which is actually a state endangered species. Um, their populations are in a decline um, and it's thought to do to habitat loss, the DDT usage in the early 20th century. And also they're a huge great horn owl prey item. 
Um, the barn owl can be identified by that white heart-shaped face, and they can be found in old barns, henceforth the name, but also abandoned buildings, cavities, and dense tree stands. Next, we have the burrowing owl. So now we're getting into um, all the owls I've talked about previously have all been nocturnal owls, but the burrowing owl is a diurnal owl, meaning that it's active during the day. Um, and these guys, they live underground in burrows. Sometimes those burrows are made by other animals like the badger. Um, and so they raise their young in those burrows and they like open habitat to hunt and they prefer to eat insects and rodents. And they've been known to even um, bring poo of other animals to the front of their burrows to make easier insect hunting. Next, we'll talk about the short-eared owl, so another diurnal owl, and that owl is endangered in the state of Iowa. They eat small rodents, and um, can, they're about the size of a crow. The next owl is the snowy owl. It's the largest species, and they're very heavy due to those thick feathers that they use for insulation. Now these guys, are, again, are diurnal, and they're not a constant winter visitor here in Iowa, but if you do see them, you may see them around airports, ag fields, or any large open space. And again, these birds prefer to be on the ground versus being perched up in a tree. Thank you for tuning in today. It has been a hoot. Please come out to our nature center. Come view all the owls that we have here and all the other critters we have on display. We are open Monday through Friday from 8 to 4.30. Happy hiking. See you next time.